In this video, I'm going to talk about how to take the screenshot uh, in Selenium WebDriver using C Sharp. There are various ways to take the screenshot in the different formats. Let's see one by one. Let me take the a default format of screenshot uh, by using Selenium C Sharp. So let me create a method public static void. Uh, take screenshot with the default format. So for that, we need to create a um, object first, take screenshot, screenshot, control dot, open QA dot, selenium, and the object name is, for example, there is a taken screenshot, object name is take screenshot, I take screenshot of driver dot get screenshot. But we have no reference for the driver, right? Okay. For that, we need to initialize the web driver. I web driver, driver. Now we have to save the file. We have to take the screenshot and save it to a particular a directory or folder. So take screenshot dot save wise file. Then you can get the path of your file where it is located. So let me go on to create a folder in the C drive. screenshots if you don't create this folder or by default you know uh, if you don't create this folder okay you are going to get an exception copy this c slash a name of your file example uh, i'm going to take the home page home page i'm not giving an extension here right so this is uh, uh, the two lines of code to taking the screenshot in Selenium Web Driver Shisha. All right. But if you want to run this code, but I need to initialize the Chrome driver instance, right? Okay. Driver is equal uh, new Chrome driver. Driver dot navigate dot go to URL, which is launching or navigating to the source of application. I have an application that is demo web shop. If you want to maximize the browser, driver dot manage dot window dot maximize. Now, if you want to run this code, okay, you need to call this method in the main method. As it is a starting method, right? Okay, we need to create an object, which is a static. We can easily call without creating an object in the main method. Now, let us run this program. Right. Let's go back and the code has been executed and let's go and see the in the C drive screenshots. Yes, the home page or the default file without any extension. Okay, the screenshot has been generated. If you want to open this, if you want to see this screenshot, right click on this, open with any browser. Okay. Yes, the home page screenshot has been taken. So this is a default screenshot. Okay using selenium web driver c sharp now i want to create uh, a png format uh, screenshot or a jpg format screenshot so in that case how to take that so i'll i'll copy the same thing again but i'm going to create another method public static void take screenshot with the png format with the png format Right. Okay. So the only difference I can copy this. Okay. I can copy the same lines of code, same two lines of code. Then I have to add the statement like uh, I need to add a dot here. Example dot. Or uh, I'll take one home page one dot. And what is the format you want it? I want the PNG format. So for that, what do you need to do? You have to uh, add one more nugget package that is a system dot drawing. So you can go to the manage nugget package, right click on the project, then go here, system dot drawing. 
Yes. So system dot drawing common, you can add this. And come back to your program. Now, I'll write the code here. Code is system dot drawing dot image format. Uh, sorry, imaging imaging dot and image format image format dot png. Uh, we have the JPG, uh, BMP, WebP. There are so many types of you know, formats are here. If you go on to see this, uh, we have a PNG, JPG, BMP. Okay, I want to take the PNG format. Done. Now, if you want to run this program and see how it is running. Let me call this main, uh, the main method. Now let's go and see this. I don't think it will work because, uh, yeah, I think it should work. Let's go back and see in this C drive screenshots. So it's not the one. C drive screenshot. You see that you know that we can see this image uh, home page one. Open this. Yes, image is open. Now we'll see the extension of this file. Right click details. Now see this is the image, the PNG file. The same I want to create. Now same way I want to create the JPG format file. I'll copy the same thing. Copy the same method. And uh, this is the JPG format. JPG format. Now here, J, JPEG. JPEG. Yes. Now this one I want to give to home page two dot JPG file. Now run this. So now you need to call this in the main method. Now run the code. Now let's go back and see. Home page to JPG format and a PNG format. If you want to take other formats, you can simply you know uh, copy the same code and change the format here. Dot. We have many formats: PNG, JPG, BMP, WebP. Okay, GIF. Okay, there are so many types of GIF format. Also, is there? Yeah. Icon format. GIF format. There are different type of you know, formats are there. JPG. So this is the way you can take the different type of you know screenshots or uh, the various type of screenshots you're using Selenium Web Driver. Now we'll see how to take the dynamic screenshots in Selenium Web Driver C Sharp. So for that I need to I need to add Unix Unix timestamp to the screenshot so that it will be dynamic so that the screenshot will be dynamic. Okay, but usually, you know how to take the screenshot in the real time when you're working for the projects in the company, right? Okay. We should not take the screenshot with the default or name or you know, any um, the static name. We should be dynamic screenshot. Now we'll see how to take the screenshot with the different naming conventions. Let me create a method. Uh, let me create the a screenshot class, a screenshot object. Take screenshot. Is it called I take screenshot of driver dot get screenshot? Take screenshot dot 
or save as file of and the path of your screenshot. And check the path, it is correct or not. Yes, it's the path. Right. Name, name of your, uh, what we can say, your file name. Uh, you're taking the screenshot for the login page example. Okay, you can type you no know, login page, login page, and class. And here I'm going to use timestamp. And a place I'm going to add system dot. drawing dot image dot image formatting imaging dot image format dot png but what about this the timestamp so i need to uh, create a unix timestamp in the c sharp okay this is c sharp code this sample c sharp code we have tried it public uh, um wide okay uh, this is a timestamp okay unix Unix timestamp. Okay, so where Unix timestamp is it called date time of? We have a date time of set, date time of set, which is coming from where? Which class? Which is coming from date time of set dot now dot. We have a Unix timestamp, right? To Unix time seconds, take this method. And this has to return what? Return Unix timestamp. It's a lengthy, a lengthy timestamp, that's the reason I'm giving long. And then we have to call this method. Or else do one thing. Yes, it's gonna be static, yes. Now we need to get the reference for the driver. Mm, iWeb driver. Fine, I'm going to create a web driver instance, a Chrome driver instance. Driver dot navigate dot go to URL. My URL. Let me maximize the browser. Manage dot window dot maximize. Now let us run this program. So now it is going to create a screenshot with a dynamic name every time you create, or every time you run the program, it is going to create the dynamic screenshot. Now let us go and see in the C drive screenshot section. In the C drive screenshot drive. Look at this, uh, dot PNG is missing, I think. Dot PNG is missing. Where is that dot PNG? Yes. Uh, it should be, I'm sorry, here I can say, place the reputation dot. Now you can run this program. So when you run this program, it is going to create a dynamic screenshot with a different timestamp. Yes, that's created with a different timestamp, but it's a login page. Now, if you want to create the another uh, screenshot with the login page, okay. Now run once again, it is going to create another one with a different timestamp. Yes, we have another one. So like this, we can keep on creating a dynamic screenshot with a different timestamp. We can also add underscore, better add underscore after the screenshot name. Let me run the screenshot once again.
with underscore that's it guys for today thank you for watching this video we'll see in the next session